Hi, I'm John the Methodist. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about spiritual growth and life as a disciple of Jesus Christ in the Methodist tradition. Whether you are someone who grew up in church or you are new to Christianity, I hope this channel helps you grow in your faith. If you want to stay up to date on all of the tools and resources that I'm sharing, go ahead and subscribe below. And today we are talking about reading the Bible through a meditative practice called Lectio Divina. So let's get into it. Hi, today we are going to talk about a way to read scripture called Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina is a contemplative practice. It's a way to meditate on scripture, to read scripture, to um, really take it in, reflect on it, uh, to listen for the voice of God in scripture as you meditate and so I want to share some ways to do that um, today with you. And I hope that this will be a helpful practice as you continue to find ways to grow in your faith and read scripture um, and learn more about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. So there are two forms of Lectio Divina, monastic and scholarly. And I'm going to talk about both of those today um, and provide the tools for how you might go about starting that as a practice for your scripture reading. This is part of a class in my New Testament class this semester. We had a Lectio Divina component. We did the scholarly, um, the scholarly way of doing Lectio Divina. But this is from a brochure from contemplativeoutreach.org, and I'll link that below. But it's just a really great little brochure about how to practice this and where it comes from. So uh, Lectio Divina is an ancient practice. It means divine reading, and so it's a way of meditating and reflecting on Scripture by reading it multiple times and each time reflecting on something different. So the monastic, um, the monastic version of Lectio Divina is the oldest form, and this originated in monasteries, and it was practiced by monks, hence the name monastic. This is less structured, and it's about what you feel. It's about your personal experience as you read scripture. And so what it looks like is um, you're going to read through scripture three different times. And it, it's a, it's a four-part component, so there's three scripture readings, and then the fourth part is rest. And I just want to read through what this means, um, or how to do it, rather. So moment one is called Lectio. You want to read through the scripture passage for the first time, and you're going to listen with the ear of your heart, is what the brochure says. What phrase or sentence or even um, one or two words stand out to you? And begin to repeat that phrase over and over as you allow it to settle deeply into your heart. Simply return to the repetition of the phrase, sentence, or word, savoring it in your heart. So moment two is called meditatio, and that's where you reflect. You, you reflect on the words, you let them resound in your heart, and you take an attitude of quiet receptiveness. Let it permeate through your prayer time the second time through, and, and just being attentive to sort of what you're feeling as you read scripture through a second time. The third moment is called oratio, and that's when you respond simultaneously as you continue to listen to a phrase, sentence, or word. So a prayer of thanksgiving or petition might arise, and you offer that prayer and then return to the word in your heart. So you're, you're going to read it the third time, and this time you're going to respond with a prayer, um, maybe thanking God for something, and then you return to that phrase or word. And moment four is called t contemplatio. And so this is where you rest in God. You're simply being with the presence of God um, as you open yourself to a deeper hearing of the word of God. So as you, um, as you reflect, you'll read through the scripture a few times, three times, and then you'll rest. And it's a meditative practice for, um, for reading scripture. So I'd invite you to give that a try. Um, and if you feel drawn back to the scriptures, you can... Um, certainly follow the lead uh, of the Holy Spirit in that regard. So the scholastic practice is what we did in class. This is more structured. It's about rational analysis. This started in the Middle Ages during the um, scholastic period with the um, a lot of the Reformation theologians and um, 
this is a way to read scripture and sort of have a more rational way by meditating on it of what it's saying. So there is a step, four steps for this also. Um, so step one, you're going to read the passage, encouraging um, everyone, if you do this with a group aloud or yourself, you want to um, listen with the ear of your heart. What phrase, sentence, or even one or two words stand out to you? So that's the same as uh, before. Step two, you're going to read the passage again and reflect on the word of God. And if you're with a group, you want to encourage everyone to be aware of, of what stands out and what um, touches you during your thought or your reflection, um, what's meaningful, and allow a minute or two of silence. Step three is to read the passage again and respond sim spontaneously to the word. Be aware of any prayer that rises up within that and expresses uh, that experience. Allow another minute or two of silence. So this, this does look a lot like the other um, practice. And so as you read the passage of final time, rest and reflect on the word and allow that, um, allow it to speak to you, to listen for um, God in that uh, three or four moments of silence. So I think, um, I think maybe the main difference between these two is one, one is more of a, a self-guided reflection for what you feel, and one is, is more geared towards a group um, as you're learning together, and you want to be able to talk about that and share with one another uh, what, you, what you took from this and, and what you felt like the scripture meant from reflecting on it. So in general, I think that for personal scripture reading, the monastic version of this is going to be your best bet, and I would encourage you to try it. And I think that as you start to read your Bible on a regular basis and reflect on it, that this slow reading, um, meditative practice where you're resting and listening is a great way to grow in your um, spiritual practices and, and to listen for what God is, is speaking to you um, and putting on your heart as you read scripture. I'd recommend starting somewhere like Psalms or uh, Proverbs. These are verses that are easy to digest, um, are not generally as long, and are, um, are about uh, our prayers and our different um, phrases that are easy to start this practice with. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions or insights about Lectio Divina, if you've ever tried it before, and let me know what happens when you do try it. So thanks for watching, and if this video provided you with any value, hit the like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date with the tools and resources I'm posting. Um, and that's all for today, so go in peace and remember that you are loved.